Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving you our September wrap up. Grab a cup of whatever and let's chat about it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. We made it through September. September was quite possibly the busiest month that we are going to have for the remainder of this year. And I am just, thank you, Jesus, that we made it through, okay? It was a full month. We were schooling. I got to MC Wild and Free in Franklin, Tennessee, which was amazing. But, you know, I had to be strategic with that because that took away some school days. Uh, then we had family come and we were off for a week. It was indeed a wild and free month, <laughs> if you want to say. It, it was a wild month, but we did it. And I'm so proud of my kids. I'm so proud of myself. We were all very proactive this month. I'm so proud of my entire household. Just very proud of how we showed up for the month of September. So... First, I just want to shout out the teacher. I want to shout out myself because my one goal for September was to make sure I was staying on top of my home making skills um, with businesses and homeschooling and life and like speech and other therapies and everywhere we have to be. I started cooking less and doing less in the house because more had to be done outside of the house. And for September, because I knew it was gonna be a wild month, I really wanted to hone in on cooking great dinners for my family, cleaning up the house, staying on top of laundry, and I can honestly say that I think I did a really, really good job of that. So shout out to mom, and if you're someone who feels like you're letting things slip and you want to, you know, you may be in a season because let me tell you something, all summer I was in the season of we're letting things go because other things are taking priority and that's okay. Um, but if you're a mama who's like, I really wanna get on top of it, I encourage you to just for next month, for the month of October, well, you're gonna be seeing this in October. So this month, just have that priority at the top of your calendar, the top of your planner and really focus on it and try to try to do it. And you'll be so proud of yourself by the end of this month if you stay true and disciplined to your word. It's just like a little side thing. So that was just like a little nugget that I felt like I had to share. But if you watched our August wrap up, you would know that this year we're really celebrating our wins daily, weekly, monthly. So I just wanted to celebrate that win for myself. Now, let me look at my calendar and then we can get into this update okay so we officially have done six weeks of school which is cray cray like really really crazy i'm really really proud of ourselves we've never been this ahead of the school year so with september we had to take a week off because we had family come in and visit and that week was just hectic and then we also took um, a Thursday off, which we don't school Friday. So the Friday that I was in Tennessee, that didn't count, but we did have to take off that Thursday. And so we took off and we had Labor Day. So we had a lot of days off in September. But with that said, our days on were fully on and we were fully focused and ready and worked and just showed up so well, I'm very, very proud of us for showing up and even staying true to um, not only our school promises that we made, but we made some social promises in September that we didn't cancel on, which I'm the queen of like, mm, I have to cancel, but we did not cancel on our Wednesday date with our close friends. Every Wednesday in September, we showed up and we celebrated with our friends. And it's just great that we were on top when we were on. And then when we were off, we were off, honey. We weren't thinking about school. We were with family. We were, I was in Tennessee or the kids were here with Justin. Like we were doing life in other ways when we were off of school, but we were still on and present in those other ways, if that makes sense. Okay, so I wanna start with some books that the kids really enjoyed this month. So 
Journey started a new book called The First Rule of Punk and she is really enjoying this. If you follow us over on Instagram, you know that she did not like her first book of the year, which was Flora and Ulysses. She finished it, but she did not like it. She is enjoying this one so much better. It's about a 10 year old girl who Journey can relate to. Um, she's moving, she had a move, um, and she's at a new school and her life is all new and she's trying to figure out who she is, where does she fit in, what's the deal. So it's a lovely book so far. I have um, glanced over it. She is reading it, I've glanced over it, but she is enjoying this one. So, so far, this one is a good Teo and Titus have loved. Um, if you go down into the woods today, they have been doing this in the morning time, just kind of entertaining themselves, and I absolutely love it. It's such a good book. This, again, is one of those books that you purchase and it just keeps on giving to you. Like, I think this book was $16, and we it was worth every bit of that because we use this 10 times over. So the boys have really loved this this month. And then in our household, we have been talking about the change of season and what's coming up and how summer is gone. So we've been focusing on um, Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn. The boys really enjoyed this one. This one's definitely for your younger learners. And then we also read Fall Leaves and really enjoying this one. Journey really enjoys this book. I do too. Um, our last, I think it was our October or September day in the life of last year was when we first got this book and Journey recognized that this isn't a reflection on the bottom. It's actually winter, which we just love this book. I don't know. This book is really beautiful. So they really enjoyed this book in the month of September as well, which is funny because we did last year too. Um, some things never change. Um, okay, so curriculum wise, you guys, everything is great. I don't have one bad thing still, not one bad thing to say about curriculum. Like when I say the Holy Spirit was with me when I picked out our curriculum this year, the Holy Spirit was with me, y'all. Like the curriculum is fabulous, even down to Teo's handwriting. I'm still mad that I spent as much as I did on it, but it's working. It's good. We're good. We're loving it. But now with that said, even though the curriculum is great, I do have updates of regarding like each child and their progress. So if you watched our August wrap up, you would have seen that Teo was doing great in everything but handwriting. Like he just was hating handwriting. I am proud to report that somehow within a month, he went to hating handwriting to absolutely loving it, not complaining about it and writing so good. Like so good to the point of I'm really confused. Like, were you just not doing it? Did you just finally, were you like, okay, handwriting's not going anywhere? I don't know, but his handwriting is has improved so much and he's enjoying it and does not bite me about handwriting, which is just so lovely. Now, I think one thing that I did do that kind of helped him is I allowed him to have his favorite stuffed animal during his handwriting lessons and him and his stuffy would do it together. So I, I think it worked guys. So moral of the story, let your little kindergartner, early learner, write with whoever <laughs> he wants to write with, bring in all the toys, bring in the Batmans, the Spider-Mans, the stuffed animals, cause Teo will just be writing and then he looks to his little fox and he's like, okay, now it's my turn fox. And like, it's just adorable. So. Handwriting was great. We are still loving all about reading. Oh my goodness. Next Monday, I believe, is a all about reading, do a lesson with us. So you will be able to see Teo like do the lesson and how he responds from the beginning to the end. I am loving all about reading. If you have a young learner and, and they're struggling with reading or they're struggling with their letters or the, your program that you have just isn't working, please, please try the tried and true all about reading program. It is just absolute, well, all about learning is the name of the company, but it is just absolutely wonderful. I wish I would have done it with Titus because it just simplifies things so much and you will see 
in our do a lesson with us next week, you'll see what I'm talking about. It just simplifies everything. And if you're someone who's on the fence, because a lot of you have been DMing me saying, oh, I'm really on the fence. Like, I don't know. It is pricey, but I promise you, just like that, um, if you go into the Woods book today, it is worth every amount of money you're gonna pay because it's going to return yield. And it, it, it's just worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. But yeah, be looking out for Teo's Do A Lesson With Us video next week. So Titus is doing great. Um, I'm loving Evan Moore still. Um, he's doing Masterbooks and Math Mammoth and we're loving it. If anything, I need more for Titus. Like I feel like the kid just goes through his work so fast. So I'm considering <laughs> adding more to his load. I don't know if he needs to do a history or something, but that boy is just working through all of his work so fast and doing well. So I think I might add something on, I don't know, maybe we'll do our knowledge crates box because we just got our fall one. I you I did a um, live Instagram unboxing of the fall knowledge crates box. So you can go check that out. And my code Oglesby15 works for everything on the site, including mini crates. Yes, 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 you heard that right. So go check that out. But yeah, I don't know, Titus just needs more because he's working through things so quickly. Now, something that I have utilized this month for Titus is the Math Mammoth website and all the games that it has on there love all the games, love the resources, love Math Mammoth, cannot say enough about it. Um, yeah, I just can't say enough about it. And I'm so excited for Teo to be able to start his. He hasn't yet. Yes, his handwriting is getting better. Um, he has done a lot of subtraction and addition, but we're kind of just doing it like with fun manipulatives right now. But I think second semester is when I'm gonna introduce the Math Mammoth because Teo's also flying through his master books math. So we'll start that um, pretty soon, hopefully. But I'm loving Math Mammoth. I can't say how much I love it enough. All right, and then we have Journey with Monarch Homeschool. So if you guys watch the review, I'll leave it down below. I did review the Monarch Homeschooling program, the pros, the cons, what I'm loving, what I'm hating, what she's loving. She's not hating anything about it, which is crazy because she's 10 and she currently hates everything. So it's a win. Um, but yeah, so I really don't have much to add to it other than we're grooving, we're finding our groove. She's studying all of her, like we have our study rhythm down and um, I'm loving it. I don't have any complaint. The best feature, I mean, there's a lot of good features in Monarch Homeschool, but like when we had to take that week off in September, all I had to do was go in and say, hey, we won't be here from here to here. And it automatically just like recalculates everything so that everything is fitting into your year and you're still getting all your work done, which is amazing. Um, so I really, really like that because we had to do that a lot in the month of September. Like I said, I was in Franklin, Tennessee. We had family traveling. Dad was traveling. Our life in September was like one big, we try to juggle it. We try to make it work. And I think we did great, but it was, it was a crazy month. I am trying to think if there's anything else that I have to update you guys on. I don't think there is. Don't think there is. Um, it was a great month. It was a full month. It life did all the lifing in September. I'm just happy that we, like I said, survived it, got through it and are on to October because I, y'all, I didn't know. I didn't know how September was going to go, but it, it went so smooth. Yeah. So let me know how your September went. Are you feeling like you're on the right path? Is your curriculum working? Are you having to change some things up? Talk to me in the comments, ladies. Thank you so much for all of your support. Click that red subscribe button if you haven't. Give this video a big thumbs up. Tell all your friends about us, and we'll be back again with another video soon. <laughs>